Today we are going to pick our glass gem corn. Here is our video of it growing from start to finish. And uh, so we're going to show you something I've been looking forward to sowing for a long time now. As I've said before in other videos, Rose is home educated and I'm a STEM ambassador. I teach science to uh, groups of home educated children. And last year we studied DNA. And one of the things we looked at was how the DNA can be manipulated on certain plants. Uh, well, we looked at a particular plant and this was about an Idaho farmer, farmer who was um, part Cherokee Indian and he wanted to grow some of his, uh, some of the crops from his ancestry. So he got some corn and he noticed that when he was growing the corn, some of it was particularly bright colours. And what he did, when he harvested the corn, he kept the brightest kernels of corn. And the next year he grew those. And again, he picked the brightest kernels, saved those, dried those, and grew those. And in the end, and you may have seen this because a couple of years ago, it went around social media, there was a uh, it went viral. It, they were so lovely. And we managed to get hold of some glass gem corns. What he ended up with, this Idaho farmer, was this wonderful sweet corn. It's actually, um, it's actually a corn that you can't eat like sweet corn, but you can use it like popcorn. So we grew some popcorn last year for the first time. We've grown sweet corn before. So we know how to deal with popcorn and now we've not opened, I've opened the packet but we've not looked inside. Tip them out Rose. Oh look at the colours. Purple. Blue. Red. Wow. Um, Is that like a pinky one? Look at all those colours. Really really, oh, excuse my hand. Is that going to focus? I should just lift them in the tray shouldn't I? beautiful seeds. So Rose, open the other packet. We've got a pair of scissors here. There's, as you can see, there's 20 seeds in each packet. So I've got two packets. Let's just move that one out of the way. We're growing 40. We are growing 40. We're going to have loads and hopefully we're going to do the same. Oh yeah, we could dry, dry some. Let's have a look. Wow, look at those colours. They're beautiful. That is a normal rose. Nice bright yellow. Look at all that dirt under her nails. Sign of a good day's digging. <laughs> wow, they are beautiful. Let's plant some. Yeah. So I've already marked the holes out for rose. You're going to need loads of labels. Well, what we're going to do, we will put them all together because most of our stuff is in trays like this or they are things like tomatoes which are already grown a few inches. This will be the only plant that hasn't grown yet, doesn't have a, a label, so we'll know what it is. Famous last words. So with popcorn, with, uh, last year we grew an actual popcorn. You can't grow it near sweet corn. I'd rather you didn't do that in case you drop some, darling. No, just, just take the tray with you, okay? I don't want to be hunting them on the floor. What it took me to get these. That vast expense. They weren't that expensive. Um, so yes, so you can't grow popcorn or a harder uh, type of corn which which is what this is you can't grow that with sweet corn because as I'm sure you know sweet corn is wind pollinated and what will happen is the pollen from the harder corn will affect the sweet corn and you will end up with a tough cob on your sweet corn so when we looked up last year I was about to plant the popcorn with the um, just next to the sweet corn in our long bed down the allotment 
and I thought I'll just have a quick Google and it said 250 meters was the space you needed to put between them and we don't even have that at the allotment no we don't definitely don't have that much space <laughs> down the allotment no and we didn't want to affect if anyone else was growing sweet corn either so we grew them at home we gave them this little bed so this is what we will plant out in this bed you see they're six foot fence panels i think they're a bit longer than that actually so we'll grow them all along there once that's sorted and also with corn you grow them in blocks so instead of growing them in rows you you need you know one two three four for you to grow them like this and um, last year when we did our sweet corn i think we did fours like this um which is on our videos wow look this is our glass gem corn coming up it's just on our window so we've got the blinds down at the minute um, because it was getting too hot in here but we've had a few cool days so I think I'll pop the blinds up again um, so yeah we are so excited to be growing these can't wait to see the end product on these and here we are there's our glass gym corn waiting to go out we have 31 plants, they need spacing a foot apart, so let's see how many we can get in. No fancy calculations here, it's just fingers crossed. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to plant the biggest and healthiest ones out first, up at this end. And then if I run out of room when we're down here, when we're down there, then I shall just... Um, you know try and fit in this little bit of ground there the small ones and if they live that's great if they don't then that's understandable but we've given the healthiest ones the best chance okay let's get started right i've got 18 in and we've just had our second big clap of thunder and the heavens is opening so I think I'm going to run indoors for a bit. <laughs> right, so today is the 4th of October and our weather has definitely turned now. We haven't had a decent sun for some time now. It's actually drizzling as I'm recording this, so uh, it's there's a real nip in the air. I'm not sure that this is going to ripen any further. So I've just been having a look at some of our corn. I have picked some and I will show you that in a minute. But here we go. Here's one. So I can do this one handed. What we need to do is just, here we go. Look at the colors inside. That's lovely. So I'm going to pick that. I have noticed more than I've ever noticed with sweet corn or popcorn that we've grown that there is um, cheesy bugs inside these and little spiders. This one is soft all the way down to there so I'm just going to tear this down. It is quite dry and see how that looks. And here we are, I need to use two hands. Look at that. Not so many different colours on that one, but we shall see when we open it up fully. So I'm just going to break that one up. And what I'm going to do now, actually what you couldn't see, which I did, um, it was one of the first ones I picked. You can see here this beautiful um, burgundy colour. This was one of the first ones I picked and um, that's inside but the whole of the outer um, leaves of the corn were like this. They were this colour. It was really really lovely. As you can see not many of them have turned that colour but we've got we've got a few cobs. 
I shall go through as it's um, raining and pick what we've got and then I'll show you once we're back indoors. Right, what I've done is I've cleared each stalk. I have taken it down. Um, obviously we don't need any more pollination, but I've left these few up, all looking very sorry for themselves. But what I've done, I have checked in this one and this one. They're not quite ready and I'm hopeful if we do get a couple of sunny days, then that might ripen them off a bit more. As they are, we can't use them. So um, the rain's coming down quite heavily now and I hope you can hear me okay because my microphone, uh, well, it's a bit broken. I haven't replaced it yet. So let's go inside and see what we've harvested. So here we have our 17 cobs that we've harvested. They're all different sizes. Some of them are quite big. Some of them are small, if you look at that, compared to my hand size. Compared to sweet corn, they are, on average, smaller. This is the lovely red one I was telling you about. They're a bit yucky because, you know, it's autumn. We've had lots of yucky weather recently. Um, so we're going to peel these and um, Rose is here to help. We're both very excited, aren't we? Yes. Yes, and um, let's see what we've got inside. Let's have a look. So remember... Oh, here's a mini one. Have we got a mini one? Yeah. We want to save the... But... Don't pick all the leaves. Look! This one hasn't got any. Look at leaves. this. Isn't that beautiful? So I've moved the camera around, we're continuing to open. I'm hoping that because I have a window behind me that the light will shine on. And look at this. This one is full of oranges and pinks. It's amazing how different they are. I can see how it's coming up on the camera and it's nowhere near as beautiful as they are, but hopefully you can see the shine and see why it's called Glass Gem. We have grown many varieties of sweet corn and we've grown popcorn in the past too, oh, the traditional yellow one. And none of them have been this shiny. That's amazing. Beautiful. Ooh, so <laughs> right, Rose has just opened one. And this one has greens on it. I hope you're not going to get bored looking at these. We're certainly not bored looking at them. They are so beautiful. Right, let's continue opening. Right, we've, Rose has just opened this one. As you can see, some of the corn has opened. And I'm wondering if this is the beginning of corn smut, which is a delicacy in some countries, used in tortillas or something, I believe. So I'm going to post a photo of this on some grow your own groups and see what the general consensus is. Lovely colours, sort of khaki greens in that one. They're all so different, it's amazing. Another one, Rose has just, oh no, I opened this one really bright colours. A couple of the um, corns have started to split there and then at the same time Rose opened this one. Pastels. They're so different each one. It's like Christmas. And here we are. These are the ones that we've got including our questionable green one. So what we will do now is we will gather them up and hang them up We'll show you once they are done. Literally, we just go into, what you want is air circulation all around them. So we're just going to gather them up in little bunches of a couple, tie them round, leave a thread. And we have beams in our lounge and it's nice and warm in there. So uh, we're not, not too hot, we don't have it too hot in there. So they will dry out nicely. We'll show you when they are done. Here we are. Halloween decorations are up.
we've normally had sweet corn up here before and uh, not sweet corn popcorn looks really nice and actually what I was going to do was I was going to put off uploading this video until this had dried and then I was going to show it popping for you but that is at least six weeks away and I'm so excited to be showing you guys this corn so I'm going to upload this video now and look out for the popcorn video um, coming up in about six weeks two months I hope you've enjoyed this it's been a very exciting process for us and we'll see you soon take care everybody bye bye